never in my wildest dreams would I have pictured myself doing that. And that sorry doesn't begin to describe it, but. The parents was drugged at dinner. They went to a high school football game or some shit like that. Then they returned home because they was feeling drowsy because them niggas had gave them some drugs and crack and all kind of shit. So then they get back home, they drowsy as hell. They decide they finna go back to sleep. Now y'all niggas ain't going to sleep, guess what? Surprise, we about to blow this motherfucker up. So they decide they gonna blow the house up, but the shit end up not motherfucking working. So since they realize, oh shit, my parents ain't even dead, the fuck? We gotta go back in here and do the jobs ourselves. So they take their asses upstairs, strangle the shit out of the mother, and then hit the dad with a rifle and stab his ass ten fucking times. But the coldest part about it is, is it was a horrible, bloody ass scene uh, in the Irvin's home as Yvonne, which is the mom, called 911. So then later, these niggas took the stand for leniency, saying they sons had apologized. I'm sorry, mom, for strangling you. Has shown genuine remorse and were redeemable. They said that they boys battled with drugs and depression. Less than a month after that attack, they appeared on Good Morning America and called the whole incident one bad moment. It's showing the hell was. Recently, the mom, Yvonne, wrote a letter to Gwinnett C County Judge asking for her son's release, for both of them niggas to be released. Girl, if you don't let them niggas be. They even launched a non-profit foundation called Fighting for Forgiveness. For fighting for what? The fuck? Uh, fighting for Forgiveness is some kind of corporation or something that was founded as a result of the traumatic family event that happened in September of 2015 with them two niggas. The website says it gave us personal insight into the world of depression on, and how detrimental it can be when it goes undetected. God gave us the strength to forgive so that we can move forward with his plans for our girl bye. We don't give a fuck what you talking about. Leave them niggas where they at. They said them boys battle with drugs, depression, demons, and all kind of shit. Uh, uh, they, they fuel them attacks. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't trust it. Ten other people, family, friends, fellow church members, pastors, teachers, all kind of niggas testified on these niggas' behalf. What was y'all doing? Why y'all doing that? Let them niggas be the fuck? Leave them niggas alone. Let them be where the fuck they at. But they get out and kill somebody the fuck else? Anyways, Yvonne Irvin, which is a mom, says, These are not the sons we raised. My sons would not do something like this. They wouldn't? could have pulled the fuck out of me if they not your sons who the hell sons is they shit i'm scared so you saying something out there and is capable of taking over your sons and making them strangle motherfuckers and chop niggas up fuck that they gave them gangsters 20 years each